Welcome back. Hi, Thank Mark. you. Good to Good see you. Good to be here. Good to see you. Yeah. So summer theater, this is the big, the big season for Purple Rose, I think. Well, People well, yeah. love to go out in the summer, get dinner, go to a show, and you have the perfect summer show. Yes, we do. <laughs> Tell us about it. Um, it's, uh, it's, called, it's a world premiere by a playwright named uh, Julie Marino. It's called Welcome to Paradise. It's set on a mythical slash fictional island in kind of the Caribbean, possibly. Okay. And it's, um, it's, did I say it was a comedy? Mm -hmm. It's not, yes. in the, not in the Dominican Republic, is it? Oh, no. No, no that's good. <laughs> it's fictional. <laughs> um, and it's the story of, well, it begins with a young world traveler helping in an older lady older lady into her home there uh, because they sat together on the plane and she wasn't feeling well so he makes sure she gets inside her home safely and then it goes from there okay it's a lovely 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 comedy so perfect that's a comedy mm -hmm. for summer yes yep. and michelle normally when you're here on our show you're here as one of the uh, stars on the stage but this show you're the director mm -hmm. Have yeah. you directed before? Yes, I. Uh, it's been three years since I directed. Uh, the last thing I did was uh, Mornings at Seven, um, but yeah, yeah. So, who's in uh, Welcome to Paradise? Uh, Ruth Crawford, uh, Ryan Black, who was also in All My Sons, um, Paul Stroyley, last seen in the first Sherlock Holmes play, Rhiannon Raglan, who's there a lot, and then a new young lady named Megan Van Arsdalen. Nice. Yeah. And the previews, I think tomorrow night is the first. Yeah, tomorrow night's the first preview and the press opening is a week from Friday. All right, get your tickets because uh, lately the shows have been selling like crazy and selling out. Yeah. That's great news. Yeah, yes. it's, yeah. it's been a great, great, great year. Well, Guy, I saw your friend uh, Jeff Daniels in the audience at Tony Awards and he was <laughs> probably one of the most talked about um, Broadway actors of this past season. Yeah. He, I know you've talked, you've told us about how tiring it is for him to be in that show. Is it, is it going to end for him? Uh, he, end, he leaves November 3rd, Okay. eight shows a week from now until then. We were just talking about he's got about four and a half months left. And today's a two show day, you were saying? Yeah, today's yeah. a two show day, so it's a, yeah. it's a workout. Wow. Yeah. He's really enjoying it though, and he's, uh, I mean, they, the whole cast has made history. It's, uh, it's quite something. If you get a chance to see it, it's yeah. It's I, definitely something you don't want to miss. Yeah, well, apparently it's a very hot ticket. Mm -hmm. It is. Right I've seen it twice, and I'm going to see it two more times. That's the plan, anyway. We'll see. So, well, Jeff's going to be uh, on on stage as a as a playwright uh, this upcoming season. That's one of the plays. Yeah, a world yeah. Premiere. We're very excited about the new season. It's four new plays, four world premieres. All brand new. Yeah, all brand new, which is really risky, and but we're very <laughs> excited. This the first one will be the second installment of our new Sherlock Holmes trilogy called Sherlock Holmes and the Adventure of the Fallen Souffle by uh, David McGregor. All four of these playwrights are Michigan natives too, by the way. Our second play will be uh, a, a play, a new play with music by Jeff Daniels called Road Signs, which is based on a song that he wrote with the late uh, Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Lanford Wilson. And it's about a, a folk singer and uh, a small coffee shop and a bus trip uh, that was taken back in the 70s. And it's very beautiful, lots of rich characters and eight new songs by Jeff Daniels. And then our third play will be uh, a comedy, all women, uh, along the lines of Steel Magnolias uh, by Carrie Krim called Paint Night. And there are these paint nights around at art galleries where people can go and mm -hmm. drink wine and paint. And Yes, my mother-in-law's done many of them. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's sort of built around one of those and it's a, a very heartfelt, uh, funny, funny play. And then our final show of the year is a family uh, comedy written by a former apprentice of ours, uh, Lauren Knox. Is she going by Lauren Knox now? Well, I think, I, think that's her I don't know if her playwright name. name is Knox or Mounsey, but. Yeah, and uh, she, uh, she's acted in several of our plays and uh, she's written a beautiful play called The Walk Around the Table about an Italian family. And uh, 
It goes back and forth across generations, from Italy to the United States to Michigan. And uh, it sort of deals with the question, um, a young lady is about to get married, and she goes to her grandmother and said, how, do you, how did you know that grandpa was the one? And uh, she tells that story. It's really beautiful and very, very funny. And it's classified as a romantic comedy? Uh, yeah, yeah, and I think it'd be suitable for, for the whole family, you know. So three comedies for the new season? Three comedies and sort of a, uh, yeah, three comedies and I guess kind of a drama with music. And that's Jeff Daniels? Yes, that's Is correct. Is it autobiographical in any way? Uh, uh, not really. I mean, it's, every writer takes stuff from their own experiences, but um, it's, it, Jeff uh, Lanford left home, he left Missouri at a very young age, got on a bus to go to Chicago, and he wrote a poem about that trip, and he gave that poem later on when Jeff was working with him in New York. No kidding. And he said, write music for this if you can, I think it might be a song, and Jeff did. It's called Road Signs, and it's beautiful, and it's based on that trip that Lanford Wilson, so there's a character based loosely on, on Lanford, in fact, I think his name is Lance. It's Lanny. I guess. Lanny, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's sort of inspired by that bus trip that he took back in the late seventies. Who's directing the uh, the new season? Michelle, are you? Michelle's going to do the Sherlock Holmes play. Mm -hmm. I'm doing uh, Jeff's play and Carrie's play, and then uh, Lauren will be directing her own play. Oh wow. Yeah. Now, when Jeff, when you do a show by Jeff, because you've had many of his, yeah. well, you've had all his world premieres, yep. does he get involved? Does he come in? And, oh, sure. He's a playwright. We all work for the playwright. And he's, uh, you know, he's so doggone busy right now, so we're lucky to have him when we have him. But I'm going out to New York uh, the week of the 15th uh, to work on the play with him a little bit and talk through some things. And then he will, uh, he, he'll definitely get a chance to see it and be around. If he's in town, he's there all the time. Mm -hmm. But he's, I know he's got a couple of film projects coming up and stuff like that. So he's a, he's a, he's a busy guy. I'm really intrigued by the uh, Sherlock Holmes um, show. Mm -hmm. Just, you don't even need to say it's a comedy. Uh, just with the title, Sherlock Holmes and the Adventure of the Fallen Souffle. Yeah. It can't be anything but funny. It is funny <laughs> and, and it's an adventure. And it's thrilling and it's funny and, and it, it has, um, I can't remember the chef's name. Auguste Escoffier. Auguste Escoffier, <laughs> who was the most famous chef in the world back then. And then Prince Albert. This is on the eve of the, the Diamond Jubilee. And uh, he's in the play. And then uh, he's working on the third one, which we'll do the following year, which is called Sherlock Holmes and the Adventure of the Ghost Machine. And that one has Tesla and Thomas Edison in it. So we're very excited. Uh, a lot of Sherlock Holmes fans out there. Well, uh, just the comedy fans. It yeah. Like yeah. A, a oh, it's a good. It's a. Yeah. It's a rip roaring good time. Yeah. Those th and I think the comedies uh, seem to sell faster. At. Uh, well, we love comedy. We figure comedy is the highest form of art, and it just so happens in the middle of our season this year, we did two pretty searing dramas, mm -hmm. and one a very topical. Uh, contemporary drama and then the other one a revival of all my sons which is a full-blown tragedy and they both sold through the roof yeah but people are glad because <laughs> we're they're glad we're doing a comedy <laughs> now we're doing yeah. a comedy <laughs> and and so we've got plenty of comedies coming it just worked out that way this year and thanks to everybody for sticking with us we we really appreciate it yeah and those were they were pretty heavy those they were they were senses. they were heavy yeah. and now we want to laugh for a year so, and, and play some music and maybe even dance a little bit. We'll see. And tears of, of, of joy. Tears of joy. Yes. Okay, right. yes. Oh, yeah. We want, our goal is always to make somebody laugh and choke up in the same evening. And, and we, we, usually, we usually get there. Ha having uh, shows that are world premieres, no one really is seen or able to talk about, that, that's got to be challenging. You, you don't really, for, for a director, for an actor, you don't have any any kind of model to, to look at what somebody else might have done. Is that good or bad? I think it's great. I love it. Because even subconsciously, you're not tied to thinking you have to do it a way someone else did it. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, what, what is this story? Where is this story? And then how are we going to tell it? 
even when we do a classic play, though, we approach it as if it were a new play, because you can't really assume that everybody knows the story. We still have to tell the story. Yeah, and even classics, are the, you've seen the revivals, like Oklahoma, mm -hmm. it's, it's nothing like the original. Right. No, and it's really, I mean, we don't do karaoke. I mean, we, we want to try to reimagine things. That's part of the fun mm -hmm. of it, and maybe reveal something about the play that maybe other people haven't yet. So that's always a challenge. But new plays, we're sort of machined from soup to nuts to do that. And that's like, it's like being an explorer. It's a, it is an adventure into the unknown because you really are going where no one's been before. And it's very exciting. And this is the upcoming, it's the 29th season? Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. The yeah. big 3 is coming up. Got lots of special plans. Yeah, it's cooking a big about three. that. Yeah, it's a big three zero for Guy Sandville too, because you've been there from day one. Well, not really. I, st I started. Uh, I started working there. They opened their doors in February of '91. I started there as an actor in '92, and then I got my job. I started my job on May 1st of '95. So yeah, I've been there for a long time, but I, and I I don't plan on leaving anytime too soon. Great. And Michelle, you've been there a long time too. I started, I understudied in the winter of 1996 and then yeah. uh, Book of Days, Lanford's first world premiere we did there was my first show there. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Well, we're encouraging people to uh, check out the offerings of the upcoming 29th season. Uh, but don't forget, uh, opening next week is uh, Welcome to Paradise, another world premiere. And the uh, show has the preview on uh, June 20th and then all summer long. Yep. It's, yes. it's the summer show at yes. PRT. Well, great. Have a great season. Great Thank summer. you. Yeah, come on out and yeah. spend a great summer evening with us in Chelsea. It's a good time. Lots going on. Great restaurants. Parking is easy. Come and, and free. And free. Yeah. Come, come and see us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's a great night out. Great restaurants in Chelsea and uh, great theater, world class, all right here. Good to see you both. You too. Thank you, Barb. Thank you. Thank you. From Purple Rose Theater, Michelle Mountain, director of Welcome to Paradise and artistic director, Guy Sandville.